Now let's understand the concept of work. Okay, let us suppose I have a force which is acting like this on a particle, which is this one. Okay, now under this force, if my particle moves from say point A to point B, then the work done by this force in moving the particle from point A to point B. along ab is given by work done by f okay so let's call this guy as f this is my force and under this force my particle moves from a to b along ab so my work done from a to b is given by f vector dot r b with respect to a vector okay what is this this is the displacement of b with respect to a okay so what is this if i suppose this is my reference point then this is going to be what let's use a different color this is going to be what this is going to be r a right this vector and this is going to be what whoops this is going to be rb okay this is the displacement of this point this is the displacement of this point therefore displacement of b with respect to a is going to be rb minus ra okay which is which is this vector okay rab okay this is your rab or rb with respect to a so your work done by force f in moving the particle from a to b along ab is equal to the f vector which is the force vector into this relative displacement vector which is rb by a okay it is basically your dot product okay this is a dot product so i'll just make sure that you understand this is a dot product so we know that a dot b is equal to what it is equal to ab cos theta right so if this angle is theta then your work done is going to be equal to your modulus of f into your modulus of rb by a into your cos theta okay so this is in terms of vectors this is a dot product this is in terms of scalars where you have the magnitude of f and the magnitude of relative displacement vector okay and the angle between them right also what you can do is you can have your f in terms of its rectangular components right my f can be written as fx i plus fy j right similarly my relative displacement vector can also be written in x and y components so i would have what i would have rb by a is equal to let us call this is R B by A X I plus R B by A Y J, right? So now my work done from A to B is what? It is going to be F dot R B by A vector, which is going to be F X I plus F Y J dot R B by A X I plus R B by A Y J. Okay, we know that I dot I is one, I dot J is zero, and J dot J is also one. Okay, and J dot I is zero. So what we get is, let me just get rid of all these things. This and this okay then if i multiply this with this this is i 